Hello, my name is Delaney Bauman, and I am the co-founder and president of Remembering Rowan. In August of 2017, my husband and I were anxiously awaiting the arrival of our third child, a little girl named Rowan. And we were so excited that she was a girl as her and her older sister Lucy would be a short 17 months apart. We were excited to watch them grow up together and watch them become best friends and um, maybe be each other's maids of honor one day. On August 7th, 2017, it was my 29th birthday. I was 27 and a half weeks pregnant with Rowan. And after several hours of not feeling her move that morning, my husband and I checked in with our midwife and our lives and our hearts were changed as we watched Rowan's motionless heart on an ultrasound screen that day. A couple days later, um, Rowan was born and um, about a week after that, she was buried and we quickly learned that we were not alone in this bereaved parent journey. And um, this grief has struck many people and maybe this is something that resonates with you and your, your family. Um, one in four pregnancies ends in miscarriage and one in 160 ends in stillbirth. So the statistics around pregnancy loss are a lot more um, significant than, than what one might consider. It wasn't long after Rowan's death that I felt the tug on my heart to somehow serve this community of bereaved parents in Northeast Indiana. And Mark and I were determined to ensure that um, the death of Rowan wasn't all going to be bad. And one of the recurring themes that we heard from this bereaved parent community was how burdensome the funeral costs and the medical expenses were for them after the death of their baby. And parents expect that bringing a baby into the world is going to be expensive, but the expenses of a headstone and a casket are far different than diapers and wipes and formula. Additionally, we heard stories of families opting to cremate their baby as opposed to burying their baby because it was more affordable. We also heard um, just stories of families paying, making mo monthly payments on the medical bills that they incurred for delivering their baby. And that, that just served as one monthly reminder of the baby that you didn't get to bring home from the hospital. In 2019, Remembering Rowan was started and our mission is to serve bereaved families by providing financial assistance with funeral and burial costs and medical expenses for families that experience the unexpected loss through miscarriage, stillbirth, and infant death in Northeast Indiana. To date, we have been able to serve over 115 families in Northeast Indiana um, and provided over $70,000 in assistance with medical bills and funeral expenses. Um, our staff is 100% volunteer and our board of directors covers all of our administrative and fundraising costs. So every penny of outside donation goes directly to serving bereaved families in our community. Um, the need has never been greater as we've seen a significant increase in the number of pregnancy losses uh, since COVID started. So we so appreciate your consideration and um, we are just honored to serve in this space with families that um, are truly stricken with one of the deepest pains that life can offer. So thank you.